are about to put on the Rieger lip or attempt to uh, one thing that's gonna be a problem is this because as you guys can see it's on the ground so I'm not gonna be able to park the car up as far as I am but yeah and another annoying thing is that this trim is bent I didn't do that by the way that's just how it came so yeah all right so this is how the uh, lip is on with four zip ties I'm gonna see if I could self tap a couple more in and then put the uh, Rieger lip on and um, I did end up fixing the Rieger lip a little better I'm still waiting to see if my boy has this piece right here hey, let me see. you can't see my finger but this piece right here but for now it's super sturdy as is so I could see I did a pretty good job so we're gonna attempt to get this thing on and I'll get back to you guys in a little while so I'm trying to line it up right now it's gonna be a pretty easy install so yeah okay so this is officially the most excessive mounting so I cut some plates boom right there and then I put like probably 20 self tappers all around boom two washers and another stiff plate whole bunch of washer I mean whole bunch of self tappers all around boom another plate boom like this if this thing comes off the streets can have the streets get it's for the streets the streets can have it but yeah this should be good um yeah this should be good and it's really not hard to take off so yeah I'm gonna flip this thing back around move back the car put the bumper on and hopefully it's just not on the ground but yeah this should be good so i'm overall i'm happy with it like it was a super cheap lip by my boy so uh yeah the only thing i don't like is how this part's broken off so i might just cut that part right here to make it even like i probably will just do that because i mean there's nothing i could do so yeah i probably will just do that cut this off so it's even on both sides and then call it a day all right so boom cut off the end it's not perfect but this whole lip is just not perfect it's just for look so i'm gonna put the bumper on now and i'll get back to you guys in like a couple seconds boom so there's the rieger lip on so it's super low Granted, the car is a little bit over ride, I mean, a little bit under ride height. I have a few more PSI, but yeah, this thing is super low. So that's probably, well, that's not going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue like getting in and out of stuff. But again, I'm on bags, so it doesn't really matter. But um, it looks like the car has an oil leak, which I'm. I'm pretty sure I noticed it before or whatever, but I just didn't think it was as bad as it is. So when the car goes, granted, I'm, we're going to be doing all the, like the valve covers and everything like that, like the valve cover gaskets and all that. So it doesn't matter, but let's, uh, I have to take the car to the, uh, gas station and get a little gas. So we're going to do that and come back and that'll be the end of the video. Like. This video wasn't anything crazy, just throwing the Rieger lip on, so, yeah. But it does look super sick. I'll probably, like, have some, like, gas station picks and stuff, so I'll get back to you guys in a little while. So we're going to see if it scrapes at ride height. Oh, Jesus Christ definitely does scrape on right height coming out the thing jesus christ that was terrible i'm definitely gonna have to look at that holy hell that was really really bad scrapes so i'm gonna have to raise it up quite a bit when I'm coming out the driveway and stuff. All 
All right, so we're gonna see. Okay, so my uh, repair definitely held up to a very, very bad scrape. So yeah, but it looks really cool. Like, I don't know why even, I don't know why even 18s look small, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the tire profile. It just looks so little. But um, yeah, it looks good. So yeah, let's go to the gas station. So this is how it looks aired out all the way down to the ground. Yeah, that's... Wow. This lip really changed the whole look like. That's crazy. 